Good morning and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. My name is Joanna Coles and May is Beef Month. And this morning we're joined by Anna Hawkins with the Kentucky Beef Council. She is the Director of Consumer Affairs there. Good morning, Anna. Good morning, how are you? Anna, I'm doing well. And May is probably one of my favorite months because it is Beef Month and I, I, I'm a big lover of beef. And today you're gonna share with us one of your recipes this month. Yes, absolutely. So while we like to celebrate beef all month, all year long, this month we really get to highlight beef and not just beef as the high quality protein for you, but also the producers that raise it, how they, you know, are part of our communities. But then it also gives us all an excuse to fire up those grills and really get grilling season started. And you know, this has been a different May is Beef Month for sure. Um, yes. There's a lot more people connected with where their beef comes from, a little bit more about cuts, because I had one lady call, she had to get creative because all she could get was cube steak. So I think people are looking for recipes and you guys have the solution to those issues. Yes, absolutely. So Beef Month is usually filled with us traveling the state and doing a lot of cooking demos. So we've moved those all to a digital format to where you can use those at home, even if we can't get to you to show you how. So um, we're going to do a step-by-step -step today on how to make a pimento beer cheeseburger. It's as good as it sounds. <laughs> it does. It sounds amazing. So how do we get started? Sure. So what you're going to start with is that, remember, you know, we're all starting to cook more at home. You're starting to fire up those grills and food safety is always something that you need to keep in mind. So, but I'm one of those people that likes to cook with my hands and to get my hands dirty in the kitchen. So keep you some gloves handy. And we're going to start with a pound of ground beef. With that ground beef, I'm just going to add some garlic powder, salt, and pepper. And the fun thing about beef is that it takes on so many different flavors that all you really need is salt and pepper and maybe a little bit of garlic powder and you are ready to go. And so, so you just we'll go ahead and that in? Yes. So we're just going to see if you can see this on there, but I'm just taking this and mixing it all together. I think with my hands is the easiest way to do that. And then we're going to take this and patty it out. For a um, family of four, a pound of ground beef can go a long way. So you can go ahead and make this into four um, quarter pound patties. So I like to just make a ball, just patty them out into some really great hampers. All right. Well, that's easy uh, enough. Now, it sounds like the topping, though, that's what's really interesting in this burger. Yes. So, okay, I'm going to take my gloves off. And to start with, so really before you start finishing your topping, make sure that you go ahead and put those burgers on the grill. So if this is the first time that you have used your grill this summer, open it up, check for bird's nest, if there's any leaves that fly in there, because you don't want a fire to start. No, absolutely. Fire, that's safety first. <laughs> right. So when you open that grill, you'll know it's at the right temperature. If you can hold your hand comfortably about five, four or five inches above those grills. Um, so you'll just go ahead and put your burgers onto the grill. All right. Now for the fun part. And so while they're cooking and we want to get those to what temperature? So with ground beef, you want to cook it to 160 degrees. When you're cooking steaks, we're talking about 145 degrees for that medium rare. All right. Um, but awesome. make sure that you're cooking it to 160. Okay. Now, what about the topping? Sure. So the topping here, this is one of, I mean, pimento cheese is so Kentucky. This is a recipe that every time someone has made this recipe, they're like, my family keeps asking for it all the time. So in this bowl, it has smoked gouda and sharp cheddar cheese. And you're going to put that in a food processor along with half a cup of beer, some Worcestershire sauce, um, whole grain mustard, salt and pepper and then I think really the secret ingredient to this pimento cheese is that you put cayenne pepper in it. To give it a little kick. It sounds yes. amazing. Now where can they find more information about recipes? Sure so you can find all of these recipes on kybeef.com and then we also have a beef month page. So on that page you'll find all of our recipes that we're featuring this month and I think one of the cool things about the recipes that we have this year is that they're all Kentucky themed and they are all made by Kentuckians. So it's people that know the food we like to eat and that are excited to cook beef. 
All right, Anna, that is awesome. We appreciate you visiting with us today. If you want more information, you can always visit their website or you can give us a call here at the Extension Office and we'd be happy to help. Thanks for watching and have a great day.